it was really important to kind of, unlike a lot of our, the films we've made, to make nature a lot more realistic than we usually do. A lot of times we stylize nature so it fits with the character stylization. But in this film, it was really important for the audience to really relate to the dangers of nature and, and the beauty of nature. And so we built a completely new tool set to be able to make the natural world much more realistic. Um, Pete, orig the first thing he, he kind of talked to the technical crew about was um, wanting it to not feel like a walk in the park, Arlo's journey. And a lot of our kind of films, when, um, when the character's in nature, you can kind of tell where the character is going to go because of the way the set is dressed and the terrain is built, just because it's easier for the animators to deal with flat ground, not a lot of obstacles. Um, but that's exactly what Pete didn't want. He wanted the natural world to, to feel very realistic and you not to know, you know, how Arlo is going to get from point A to point B. The clouds and the weather are really important in the film because that's the main obstacle for Arlo to kind of overcome. And we decided early on to build completely volumetric clouds, um, which we hadn't done before. Generally, we matte paint the clouds, um, but we needed to develop um, a way to do volumetric clouds for all of the scenes so that they would integrate into the environment better. When you matte paint a cloud, um, you do it very late when lighting has been established so that they fit in and the audience can't tell that they um, are done differently than the, the terrain and the landscapes and the characters. But because we had so many outdoor scenes and we wanted to be able to change the lighting and the weather late, um, we needed to make them to be real volumetric so they existed in the scene and they were lit by the same lights that light Arlo and Spot and the terrains and the river. So they exist in 3D space, they're set dressed, just like we set dress other aspects of the set. And the light actually shines on them, illuminates them, and they shadow the environment and they're really integrated into the, into the image. And so they feel a lot more real, um, they move, so, you know, when the wind picks up, the clouds will actually move. And when the storms pick up, they'll evolve, you know, from like clouds into supercells and so forth. So we really needed them to be like kind of active elements in the environment to really convey the danger of, of, the, of the storm, the, the, the storm that was building. 